before we arrived in Kobe, we were in Kyoto, and it was a really interesting uh, situation because uh, we were hearing reports that a uh, typhoon was coming. We had a reservation for a Shinkansen, but that train wasn't going to be in Kyoto Station for about another three more hours after we were there. So we had to pick up whatever available Shinkansen there was and got on the first available train that came through and got on the Shinkansen and we made it just in time. Welcome Lunch was in this little tiny cute cafe uh, right in the Kobe city and we had some delicious Italian food. It was nice to have food like that in Japan, which I didn't really think that we would have. I was thinking that we would only be eating Japanese food. So it was great to have this yummy lunch of uh, different kinds of Italian pastas. Most of us were famished. We were really, really hungry. So we were just waiting for this food. So normal self, making goofy faces at each other across the table. And then they bring out all this food and we're looking from where we're sitting and we're like, oh my gosh. Earthquake Museum, Disaster Re Reduction Prevention um, Museum. It was a really good experience and it's one of the highlights of Kobe. There was so much that I learned. Uh, even as an educator myself, I was unaware of a lot of things that I learned that day. So for me, it was quite touching. It was very meaningful for me, especially being Japanese myself. If I can remember, the beginning of the tour was we were in a room and it actually sort of reenacted the earthquake while you watched the video and the floor sort of rumbled and I thought that gave a really sort of emotional um, re uh, reenactment of what happened that day in that earthquake in Kobe and how powerful that it really was. Just hearing the screams and that kind of thing just put everything into perspective and made me feel bad but yet feel really relieved that this city came together and rebuilt it and made it just as beautiful. The welcome party is always an event um, because Kobe puts on a big production. So it really feels like we're um, you know, VIPs walking into this beautiful, beautiful setting and you just feel like you are at you know, the party of, of the season in Kobe. I remember being escorted in and introduced as if I was some very important dignitary, whereas I was part of the JC party as a parent. We had a lot of fun. Everybody um, had games that we played, as well as uh, jump roping. You know, we jump rope, you know, maybe a couple of times when we were at little elementary schools, but apparently, you know, in Japan, you know, rope jumping is a big deal, so that they, they really develop their skills that they've maintained. See, I thought we won, but according to Kristen, Tracy then won. So, I mean, it was still a very, I guess, happy and really fun and just brought us all together moment. I thought that our team would do better, but um, they didn't, so that was a little disappointing. I felt really, really sorry for Mr. Wada. <laughs> okay, don't put that in. Uh, Nijikai, um, the, the second party or their second meeting, the, um, those are uh, a really good, good time where it's a, you know, it's a smaller group, um, that we can go out and relax. And I believe that night we went to a, we went to a small little bar and we played darts. I thought of Chinatown kind of like our Chinatown, but when when we got there and we were walking through, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Chinatown was fun. There was food everywhere. And of course our court loves food, so we walked around to all the vendors sampling fruits and all kinds of treats and I mean the food over there is awesome. So the next thing you know you see 
you know, different uh, members of our parties that I'm walking with, I think they had like, a melon on a stick or they had some other kind of fruit on a stick. I myself had a few uh, extra little dumplings here and there and it was just great. It tasted wonderful. And we went to go see, uh, there was a small gazebo in the area and we were all taking pictures with our Chinese zodiac that they had, which was another experience. The Ikebana display was really interesting because, you know, I like plants. And um, I have my own opinion as to what's nice and what's not. And I'm very used to seeing, you know, rather traditional kind of straight up and down lines or, you know, very simplistic. At that exhibition, they had, you know, a whole range of things where they had much more, you know, like round, three-dimensional, ball-like forms. It just made me want to come back home and say, okay, I want to learn this and I want to take up this art because it's not something that anybody can just pick up and start sticking flowers anywhere. It's something that, you know, should be taught and should be continued. The so farewell party was uh, a lot of fun. It was actually held at, I believe, Keton's family's um, building. The best part of the night was when they had the girls or anyone else who wanted to pound mochi. For people who have not pounded mochi, it's, it's a very different experience. And they actually got to know how mochi was made. It was kind of cute because they gave us a lighter one so it was easier to pound but it was so much fun and it was actually a workout <laughs> for your arms. The hula that the court members did um, was choreographed by two of our court members and I think that made it very special for both the court members and as well as um, the receiving and the Kobe JCs who have actually watched it and viewed it. Um, it really showed that you know, this was not just a dance that we were doing, but it was something that came truly from the court. They're real troopers, they're standing on outdoor stage, kind of chilly, a little bit windy, but then they tucked it up. The wind was blowing and we were thinking, oh my gosh, this is so cold, but you know, it was so nice to perform for them and we were so grateful for everything they did that weekend that, you know, it was we were able to push through the cold and have a good time and also invite some of the JC members up there to dance with us and teach them some hula moves. For me, visiting Kobe is like getting to meet up with some old friends. Kobe, uh, interestingly, was my favorite place. I totally enjoyed that stop of our trip. The JCs were just wonderful. When you talk about taking care of others, I truly believe they know how to take care of people. I've always wanted to go visit Kobe. Um, they have wonderful food, wonderful people, wonderful places to see. And now that I've experienced that firsthandly, um, I have noticed that Kobe people are just wonderful people. And we are very, very grateful to have been a sister chapter with the Kobe JC. And we are very glad to have the chance to go visit them. Thank you very much. Thank you sincerely. It was a really a big treat for us. Yeah. Thank you so much for everything that you did. You guys were all so hospitable to us. You took really great care of us and we wish that we got to stay longer, but in those short couple of days, it was a lot of fun and we hope to see you guys again soon. There's no words to express how much you've done for us. The only thing I can say is thank you and hopefully, you know, when I come back, I'll see you guys again. The relationship has been built by others, you know, years ago that we've kind of forgotten. We're not even sure who the, you know, the forefathers were, but then we've been so fortunate to have, uh, to have this opportunity, to have inherited uh, this relationship and we want to we want it to continue for many many years. <laughs>